In this video, we'll show you how to live stream your Adobe After Effects output to Looper for real-time, over-the-shoulder review and collaboration. If you don't already have a Looper account, go to looper.io. Click Sign Up and follow the steps to create an account. Once Sign Up is complete, head over to the Support page of your dashboard. Then click Download LDE. Select the version of LDE for your operating system and your download will begin. Make sure Adobe After Effects is closed, then open the LDE installer file and follow the prompts to complete installation. Launch LDE from your Applications folder. Grant the necessary permissions, then click Continue. Let's enable NDI output in After Effects. First, open Settings and select Video Preview Preferences. Select Enable Mercury Transmit. Then select NDI output and click OK. After Effects is now sending out an NDI video feed which can be captured and streamed by LDE. Let's open LDE and set it up to receive your NDI output. First, click on the Settings button. Set the output resolution to the resolution you would like to stream at. We recommend 1080p or lower for the smoothest client experience. Set the frames per second to match the frame rate of your content. Then click OK. Click the plus button at the bottom of the Sources panel and select NDI Source. Ensure that the selected NDI feed is from After Effects, then click OK. To enable audio streaming from After Effects, click the plus button in the Sources panel and select Desktop Audio Capture. Ensure that method is set to Capture Specific Application Audio Only. In the Application drop-down, select After Effects. Click OK. If you can't find After Effects in the drop-down menu, you may need to allow screen recording permissions for After Effects in your Mac system settings. Select your desired output device. The default option will use the same output device as your system. Then toggle the headphones button from red to white. You should now be able to hear the audio output of your NDI source. The volume slider adjusts the volume of your audio source. Any adjustments made here will affect the volume of the stream for everyone in your looper room. Now let's set up your stream quality. The default settings provide good image quality coupled with modest internet speed requirements for streamers and participants. If you'd like to increase the stream quality, you can select a higher bitrate value from the video and audio drop-down menus. In the dashboard of your Looper account, click Setup Room. You can enter the required details and adjust any additional settings in each tab, then click Complete Setup. Next, you'll need to set up your room's unique stream keys. This allows your Looper room to connect to the stream from LDE. Click the More icon of the room you would like to stream to. Select Stream Keys from the drop-down menu. Ensure that the Select Encoder drop-down is set to LDE. Copy the Stream Key by clicking the Copy button. In the LDE main window, click Stream Key. Paste the Stream Key you just copied, then click OK. Click Start Streaming. You will see a green status indicator in the bottom bar of the application. This means the stream is being sent to your room. In the dashboard of your Looper account, click the Share button of your room. To share the room link via email, enter the emails of your guests. You can also add a message. Then click the Share button. Alternatively, you can click the Copy Invitation or Copy Link button and send it to your participants. Click the Enter button. Allow access to your webcam and mic when prompted. Check that your desired webcam and mic are selected, then click Go. To avoid hearing double audio, the stream in your Looper room is muted by default for the host, but not for guests. You can hear the audio for your stream inside your room by clicking the Unmute button. We hope this guide was useful to help you get started. Happy streaming! You can check out the support page in your dashboard for more in-depth setups and advanced workflows. Please subscribe to our channel for more Looper tips and tricks.